Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to another custom Lego tank crew assembly. I had too much fun making my custom crew for my M4 Sherman. And now that I have my here, my newest build, which is my Panzer IV, I wanted to make a Panzer crew as well. And I wanted to sort of just go down kind of how I did that, um, similarly to what I did with my Sherman um, tank crew and kind of just show off uh, my new crew guys and the realism that they add to the actual vehicle. So I went to something that, as for me, um, has been tried and true. I went to Battle Brick Customs. I have bought from them a couple times now, and I've been very happy with the things that I've gotten. Um, their selection is not as good as maybe I would have liked, but I kind of was being a little innovative and found a way to sort of make a Panzer crew with just with what was given. It started with um, this, actually. So this is a figure that they have um, on their website. This is their Panzer Commander. Um, so it's, it's custom printing on the body. There's nothing on the back. Um, I kind of wanted, maybe wanted something on the back. It's not terrible. I personally like things with a little bit, um, less detail and they don't go overboard. So I think like this body is very good, all things considered, and will work very well for me. So this was, um, their Panzer, their Panzer commander. They didn't have like Panzer crewmen. It was just this guy. This was the only guy that they had, um, one of their custom tank kits comes with some a little bit of variation if you um, get the one with the crew, but I couldn't really afford that and didn't uh, have any interest in getting their specific custom tank because I obviously already have one. Um, so I bought three of this guy. So all of the guys the same. Um, I'm just showcasing one here because they're all exactly the same. This hat, I believe, is actually Lego as far as I can tell. It's like a cop hat that happens to be black. The, the face and then the, um, the body and legs and all that stuff are actual Lego as well. There's custom printing on the face of the body. It is textured and raised just like it is on all the other Battle Brick guys that I've gotten in my other little reviews. Um, he comes with field glasses, which is just a pretty standard Lego piece. And then what appears to be a Luger. I'm not really familiar with guns from the Second World War, um, but I am learning a lot. Um, so this, um, I don't know where this gun was made. I don't think it's a brick arms. I think it's from a different company, um, which was kind of a correction on what I had said originally about battle brick. Um, but this is a very, very quality minifigure. I'm very happy with this. Um, it does exactly what it needs to do. Um, so I bought three of these guys, like I mentioned, and I assembled my panzer crew, which I will now showcase, um, how I sort of made an entire crew from one generic kind of guy. So here's the crew assembled from the Battle Brick Customs guys, along with some extra pieces that I had from my own collection. Um, this guy is the gunner. He, they all have the same body naturally, as I explained, um, which is funny because I don't really know what these insignias mean, like these little uh, symbols on their vest. So maybe it, all of those indicate that they're all commanders and I got it wrong. That's just a funny thought. Um, this guy's pretty normal. Uh, I swapped out the hats because I wanted the commander to have the fancy hat and these other guys to have more generic caps, but I had some of these leftover cop hats from some other things and I thought it would be kind of nice to sort of, um, to swap them out and give them some variety too. So this guy has a different face that I gave him. Um, he wears his hat at kind of a jaunty angle because he's a little more roguish than the other two older guys here, I'm sure. Um, and then he has one of the Lugers just from, um, the actual guy that came in the kit. So he's pretty generic, um, but he does exactly what he needs to do and has the appropriate amount of variety. Um, next here is the commander. So same body naturally. I used a bit of black thread and tied his field glasses around his neck because I thought that would be sort of a nice little effect. I wanted to do the same thing with some Lego headphones because I know they had like a radio set, um, but I didn't end up um, finding a headphone piece or being able to use that. I made his hands black, so he has some fancier gloves. He's got the same pants. Um, he has a different gun. This gun is another gun that I got from uh, Battle Brick in a different, a different kit. Um, and then he has the fancy hat, though he's the only guy who has the fancy hat. And then he has just sort of a mustache face. And I looked up if it, that was a thing that like Panzer Cruz had facial hair. I wasn't actually really sure, but I kind of liked that this guy had a big old classic German mustache and I think he looks awesome. So that's the commander. Uh, this guy right here is the driver. He has very similar outfit to this guy, naturally. The same body, because that's the main piece. Oh, kept his legs there. Um, and then he has the same hat as the other guy. He wears his straight, because he's a little more uh, uniform. Um, he has just sort of a pretty generic head. Um, and then I had this extra, um, I think it's a Car 98K. Again, I'm not really sure about the guns, but I figured it would be kind of cool to give them some weapon variety. And the fact that I had that extra piece um, made sense to... Um, to give it to him. So, so this is the, my Panzer crew. Um, it's similarly to my, um, 
Ham for Sherman, where both of those tanks were both medium tanks, and they both um, were supposed to have a crew of five, but I could only fit three in both of my tanks, but I felt like that was nice because at least the Panzer IV is keeping up to the speed of the Sherman. I personally think there's something incredible it does to the realism of the build to be able to feature a crew in it. Um, it adds that, that final bit of life that I feel like my builds need, um, and being able to get these bodies and be able to assemble a crew has been really, really cool. Naturally, the guys were expensive just as they as they are when you're looking for custom Legos, but in my opinion, it was worth it because this is a very specific build that I kind of want to be able to honor with very specific guys, and I personally think that I did a pretty good job. So these guys are all suited up. They have a, a full stockpile of high explosive shells, and they are ready to uh, be deployed into war.